everyone welcome to the channel of ecoholics so today i'm going to solve an islm numerical in this video so islm numericals are prevalent in all of the examinations so whichever examination for economics you are going to give islm is that thing which is consistent everywhere so watch this video to learn the tricks and tips of solving an islm numerical all right so this is the data given to us for this question we have been given with the consumption function c is 40 it plus 0.75 i investment function is given by i is equal to 140 minus 10 i government expenditure is given which is equal to 100 lump sum taxes are given to me which are equal to 80 then this is the money demand function this is money supply function now they have told that i is interest rate other figures in rupees crores. So we have to find out the equilibrium income Y and interest rate I. So when they are asking you that you have to find the equilibrium income Y and interest rate I. So if we are finding the IS equation or even the LM equation, they are always in terms of Y and I. So IS and LM both are found in terms of the two variables, which are my output and rate of interest. In some books we use R, and at some places we use I, correct? So over here, even when they're asking the equilibrium income Y and the interest rate I, first you have to find out the equation that is for your IS equation. So let us see how we are going to proceed. So ISLM is a thing which is given under the Keynesian aggregate demand or Keynesian theory basically. So whenever we are solving, we have to solve Keynesian equilibrium. What is that condition is? That is y equals to ad. Since you are not asked here to find out the equation for IS or equation for LM explicitly, but they are asking you the equilibrium interest rate and output, which you will find wherever the IS and LM both are going to intersect. So it means if I have to find that equilibrium, I need to find the equations of IS and LM, right? So we are going to first find the equation for IS and then we will proceed with the equation for LM. How do we find the equation of IS? So equation of IS is given by the equilibrium of my goods market. So goods market is got through this aggregate demand, where aggregate demand is equal to C plus I plus G. Since we don't have any components for the open economy, neither we have exports nor we have imports. So I have not added the another component which is net exports, X minus M. But if you are working with open economy, you have to add that, correct? So let me put all these values. So when I'm going to put the consumption function over here, this is the disposable income. Disposable income is the income which is left to me after paying the taxes. So C, I'm going to input this 40 plus 0.75. Now disposable income is the income left to me after paying taxes. So how many taxes? I'm paying 80 rupees. So I will subtract 80. Now let me input the investment function, which is going to be 140 minus 10 I. So 140 minus 10 I. After that, government expenditure is exogenous. It is given to me, which is 100. So I will add this thing. So I will have to solve this equation. Y equals to now 40 plus 140, 180. And 180 plus 100 is going to be 280. Plus, when I multiply this, I will be getting 0.75Y minus. When I multiply this, I will be getting minus 60 minus 10 i now what do i do y equals to 280 minus 60 is going to be 220 plus now this is a 0 0.75 y i will take it to the left hand side so i will be getting 0 0.25 y equals to 280 minus 60 220 minus 10 i now the next step just involves taking 0.25, dividing the right hand side of the equation with 0.25. So I get y equals to 220 divided by 0.25 minus 10 divided by 0.25i. So upon solving this, y will be equal to 8 
80 minus 40i. So this is my equation for IS curve. Now I just need this equation. Now I will be solving the equilibrium of money market to get my equation for LM. So I don't need all these things. All right, I will write this equation here. Now, to solve for the equilibrium of LM market or for the LM curve, I need to work with the money market. So money market is in equilibrium whenever the money demand is equal to money supply. So money demand over here is given 0.2y minus 5i and money supply is given to me which is equal to 85. So I'm going to solve this equation. How? Again in the terms of y and i, I can solve this. So I'm going to get 5i equals to 0.2y minus 85. So I will take 5 to the denominator over there and I'm going to get 0.04y minus 17. So this will be the equation of your LM. Now it's very simple. I have got my equation for IS. I have got my equation for LM. Achha, one thing if you will see here, if you will observe, I have found the equation of IS where Y is my dependent variable and I is my independent. But I have kept here the inverse. Why I have done it? So it's not like this. When you are presenting the LM equation, you can take Y to be dependent and I to be independent. But since I know that I have to solve for the equilibrium. So what I'm going to do is I will be just substituting this value of I directly here so that I can get my answer directly. I don't have to do another manipulation. So whenever the objective, so whenever in an ISLM question, the objective is to find equilibrium rate of interest and equilibrium level of output, try to solve the IS where you're finding the value of Y in terms of I and for LM, try to solve for I in terms of Y. This will help you in the substitution and you can easily substitute values to get your equilibrium output and interest rate. But if the question explicitly asks you for IS curve or LM curve, you don't need to do that. You can simply proceed in the same manner. So I'm going to just substitute this value here. All right, so y will be equal to 880 minus 40 into 0.04y minus 17. Upon solving, y will be equal to 880 minus 1.6y plus 14 to 17, 680 over here. So if I solve it, y will, will be equal to 600. So this is my equilibrium level of output. Now I just need to put this value of y over here to get my i. So let me put it i is equal to 0.04 into 600 minus 17. So i will be equal to 7 over here. So I have got my answer for y. So these are the equilibrium level of output and equilibrium level of interest rate over here. So you see how easy it is just to solve for the equation of IS and equation of LM to get your equilibrium rate of interest and output. And ISLM part is that part which is going to be there in every examination of economics. So you can learn from this video how to solve such questions, how to solve such numericals for a better understanding of the ISLM part. If you want more such videos, please like, share and subscribe to the channel of Ecoholics. And in comment section, please tell us the other topics on which you want us to make videos. Thank you everyone for watching.